President Maitripala Sirisena made a special statement today relating to the situation prevailing in the country. During the past few days, certain incidents took place in Ampara and Kandy, causing losses to life and property. The tense situation which arose in those areas created an environment where primarily the day-to-day -day activities of the people in the country were obstructed. I express my condolences to the families and relatives who encountered a loss of life and property. At the same time, I completely condemn the acts of violence that led to this situation. I have instructed the police to enforce strict legal action against any individual, organization and group that prompted this situation. In order to build unity and an environment where everyone can live in peace and happiness, I have instructed the police, the special task force, the Sri Lanka army, public servants and the local politicians to work together on these matters with commitment. I must mention, taking this situation into consideration, the government will take all measures that are required to build unity and reconciliation within the country, as well as trust and friendship among communities. I respectfully request the Mahasangha led by the most venerable Mahanayakas, as well as the Hindu, Muslim and Christian priests and leaders to provide the necessary instructions and advice to the local politicians to prevent altercations and bring calm and control to any uneasy situation. I respectfully inform their intervention is essential towards this. The police, Sri Lanka Army and the police special task force will be in operation 24 hours of the day and we have instructed them to ensure all measures are taken to maintain peace in the area. I convened a special meeting of the National Security Council to discuss these matters. All these measures were discussed at that meeting. A streamlined program has been prepared on what measures need to be taken in the future following a discussion with the Prime Minister and the Cabinet of Ministers. Therefore, everyone must remain very calm and peaceful. Nahi vere na vera ani sammanti da kudacharang. Avere na cha sammanti e sadammo sanatturo. Vaire na vaire sansine ne netibao. As Buddhists, we are well aware hate cannot drive out hate. Therefore, as a Buddhist country, if there are any acts of violence or harm taking place, it brings great disrepute and disgrace to the nation. At the same time, I request the Hindu, Islam and Christian followers to follow the teachings of their religions and live in a peaceful and calm manner while strengthening the peaceful environment that we have. I also respectfully request them to work together in peace in order to provide the necessary revival required for the country's economy. The government is taking all required measures in order to maintain political stability in the country, build unity as well as build friendship and reconciliation among all communities. I must make special note that all necessary action will be taken against anyone who is provoking violence. At the same time, false reports are spreading across social media platforms, rumors and via telephone calls. It is clear there are certain groups operating to breach the peace in the country and make the people uneasy by spreading false rumors and false reports. We will enforce the law against such people. We will take the relevant strict action against them. I must mention, as the government, I will be taking all measures to ensure we all can live in happiness in our motherland in a free and peaceful environment. <laughs> Thank you.